figured I'd go ahead and record this. This is extracting the chlorophyll from the basil. I was gifted a huge trash bag, not kidding, not like a little grocery sack, but a huge industrial sized trash bag full of basil plants that somebody had way too much of. And I'm going to go ahead and extract the chlorophyll from this. So what you're going to do, um, and another soaper on a natural soap group I'm on has suggested I try this. Anyway, so I'm doing this with basil. So what you want to do is have your clean basil or spinach if you're doing that route. And I went ahead and this is a really heavy duty blender. Um, I filled it up with the basil leaves first and then I filled it halfway with spinach, um, blended it up and then I poured it. I just have a clean um, cloth here that is going to separate out the liquid and um, then I'll squeeze it out. I tried using cheesecloth but it didn't really work as well so the shirt is working a lot better and then this pond scum looking stuff is the liquid of that came out of here so you can see that that's actually pretty brown compared to what the nice green basil looks like so i'm going to go ahead and finish up the rest of it i still have quite a bit left to blend up and then i'll come back and show you the next part while the liquid comes to simmer i want to go ahead and show you what i'm doing with some of the other basil i have it in my four tray dehydrator you can also do this in the oven it has shrunk down quite a bit it has still maybe half an hour to an hour to go and this particular basil would be ground up to use in soap making much like I would with dandelion greens or spinach greens. So you grind it up to a really fine powder. Plant-based greens do eventually turn kind of a brown color, different colors of brown, um, or olive greens. Um, and they sometimes fade a little bit so that that first week after you cut it, it will change quite a bit once you get to the final cure in about six weeks or whatever your, your time is. You can also use this if you want to do an oil infusion for, I mean, if it's culinary use, you can use it for like bread dipping. You want to make sure the leaves are whole because if you grind it down real fine, you're going to end up with little bits in there. Um, and you can also use it for, for herbal salves and different things like that. So this is what I'm going to do with some of it. And um, then we'll go back and look at what we're doing with the chlorophyll. I have everything in the pot and it has been strained out. It is a pretty large pot. So you want to bring it to a simmer. This will take a little bit of time for me since I do have so much of it. I'll come back in just a second to show you what it looks like when the chlorophyll is starting to come to the top when it does reach that simmer. But it will take a little bit again since I have so much in there. It isn't quite to simmer yet, but I wanted to show you the little green bits of chlorophyll. So see all that bright green that's floating on top? That is the chlorophyll. Pretty cool. So once this is done, like I said, we'll need to bring it to a simmer. You'll simmer it for one minute. And then I will, I'm not going to videotape this part, but I will pour it through some cheesecloth or, you know, a shirt or something to strain out that liquid. And then that chlorophyll will remain on top and I'll show you what it looks like after it has been poured. I'm outside for this part because I couldn't get a good representation of the dark hunter green color of the chlorophyll inside. So I completely missed recording a step. I got busy and, and for, totally forgot about it. So once it had simmered for about a minute, I went ahead and poured it through a the shirt, the shirt that I had used earlier. I just rinsed it really well. And using cheesecloth, it is too, it's not fine enough. So you really need to have a fine cloth to do that. And so I poured it through that and then I squeezed out the excess of the excess water and then I scraped off the chlorophyll from that inside of the, the cloth. And this is what we have. All of that basil leaf that I had in the container, this is how much chlorophyll we got out of it. So I'm going to go ahead and let this dry a little bit. Then I'll put it in a baggie and put it in the freezer and we'll come back when it's time to use it.